Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us right here on Laura Trump, Wanted for Questioning, ready to take those questions today. But before we start, I'd like to tell you about one of our sponsors, AMAC. This President's Day honored the legacy that shaped America with AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens. At AMAC, they celebrate the courage and leadership that built our nation. In honor of President's Day, you can enjoy their exclusive sale, a five-year AMAC membership for just $35. That's right, $35 for a five-year membership. As a member, you can enjoy benefits tailored to you, exclusive discounts, trusted news, sweepstakes, and much more. Join us in honoring our nation's leaders and visit amac.us slash L-A-R-A, that's Lara, for this special President's Day offer during the month of February. Seize the opportunity to be part of a community valuing experience, wisdom, and principles that make America strong. Head to amac.us slash Lara and secure your five-year membership for $35 today. Better for you, better for America, Happy President's Day from AMAC. Now, let's get to those questions. How does someone stay in the race after losing to none of these candidates by over 30 points? You know, it's a great question. How does how does someone stay in the race after coming in last place in the previous two primary and caucus events. How does that happen? How does someone stay in the race who clearly has no chance, not a snowball's chance of becoming the Republican nominee? I'm going to guess it's because there are a handful of donors who hate Donald Trump and are obsessed with trying to destroy him on Nikki Haley's way out. That's the only guess I have because there's no way Nikki Haley becomes president the the republican nominee for president of the united states and at this point if she ever wanted to be considered for possibly vice president man you hurt your chances i think that jig is up as well nikki it's kind of unfortunate because listen it is not too much to say that if we do not take this country back and by that i mean it comes back to we the people we need a president who is giving the country back to us because right now the way we're living with inflation high, with gas prices high, with wars breaking out in the Middle East, in Europe, with our southern border just completely open and letting everyone come here. We're not going to have a country left on the other side of it. We've been in this for three years and it is almost too much to take. We are almost at the end of our rope and like there's nothing left. We got a whole another year of this with Joe Biden. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. And we need to win this on November 5th of this year. And so why, if you love this country, would you not right now be backing Donald Trump and going full force against Joe Biden and the Democrats? And whether it's Joe Biden or not, God knows we cannot allow these Democrats to have control of this country anymore. They're just completely destroying it. So it is a great question. How, if you lose to none of these candidates, do you actually stay in and continue the race? I hate to break it to Nikki Haley. She is going to lose her home state of South Carolina. And you know, even people like Kamala Harris were smart enough to know that whenever you are way down in your home state, like Kamala Harris was, don't forget this in 2020, and she dropped out before her home state of California voted because man, the embarrassment that you ensue after a loss like that, after a brutal loss, because Donald Trump is like 50 points up on Nikki Haley plus right now in the state of South Carolina, um, she's going to lose. And and then I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. She says she's staying in until Super Tuesday, which is March 5th. Highly doubt it. Uh, Nikki, it is time to get on the Trump train. We got to focus our sights on Joe Biden and the Democrats. We got to win this election on November 5th. There you go. Next question. <clears throat> Where in North Carolina do you visit? I sure would love to meet you. I have two beautiful daughters that could use a wonderful mentor. First of all, um, thank you. That is so nice. I'll take it and I'll, I'll tell my kids and my husband that someone thinks I'd be a great mentor for two, two daughters out there of someone lovely like yourself. Um, I grew up 
Southeastern North Carolina. Wilmington is the bigger city. Uh, my parents still live in Wrightsville Beach. So when I go to North Carolina, that is home. I mean, and and honestly, I can sit out on my parents, you know, like a balcony in front of, um, they, they overlook like the marsh there um, at Wrightsville Beach. It is probably my favorite spot in the entire world. Every time I go there, it's just, I feel like I can like, I just, uh, it's so great. Every time I'm there, I go for a run and I run past the places I've been running past my entire life. And it's just so comforting when those things are still there. And the blockade runner, which is a hotel down there, I run past, run all the way up to the north end of Wrightsville Beach, all the way down to the south end. It's great. It is a beautiful place. Um, you get all four seasons in North Carolina. I love that I'm like now a sales pitch for North Carolina. I didn't intend on this, but I do love it. It is an incredible state. The people are lovely. The values there are wonderful. If I don't say so myself, hence Laura Trump. Here I am, formerly Laura Unaska. It's my main name, uh, but it's a great spot. Love Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach. Um, so much going on there. Although my parents will probably be upset that I actually advertise this because there are so many people moving to this area that every time I go home, I'm like, there's something new here. There's something new there. They're getting a lot of great restaurants, a lot of nice nightlife going on in Wilmington and Wrightsville Beach. So that's my jam. Uh, happy to go as often as I possibly can. My kids love to go. They love to hang out with my parents with Uncle Kyle, uh, my brother, with my cousin's kids. So everybody has a great time down in North Carolina. We're up actually from where I am right now. Does Eric have any irrational <laughs> fears like spiders or something silly? That'd be me. That Let me tell you something. If you wanted to take me out, and I know a lot of Democrats like to tune into this, a lot of liberals, um, I'll tell you who does tune into this is OK Magazine. Man, y'all are hot on everything I'm talking about. So listen up. You may want to write an article on this right now. Uh, spiders and cockroaches. It's a no-go for me. Eric is actually pretty pretty rational with most of his stuff. I'm trying to think if he's got any irrational fears. Not really. It seems like he was a little uh, hesitant to join me in the gym for a long time. But we're working on that. He hasn't per se joined me, but he is doing his own thing in the gym. And see, I'm trying to get him over to like maybe a CrossFit class with me or something. I don't know. But uh, perhaps that was his irrational fear or was it irrational? I digress. Spiders, cockroaches, don't even try me with those. Um, I have had a, a, an existential crisis, a, a phrase that a lot of the Democrats like to use when regarding Donald J. Trump. But I really have over a spider. I've had a stare off, like a showdown with a spider for 20 minutes. Haven't had the 20 minutes to spare, but I really didn't know what to do. And I trapped it under a cup one time. No joke, it's at our house in, in New York. I was there by myself and everybody else was in Florida. I had to go up for something and I was like, I don't know what to do because I got a spider now trapped under a cup. What do I do? This wasn't even that big of a spider, to be really honest. Um, I think my fear stems from a time in my childhood where there was a spider on the stairs. I acted just out of instinct. I grabbed a shoe, I hit the spider. The spider apparently was pregnant. Baby spiders flew out everywhere. Yeah, good luck getting to sleep tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I also have had an incident where um, I had the greatest mom in the entire world, world, blessed to still have the greatest mom in the entire world. And she, every morning would make breakfast for my brother Kyle, for me before we would go to school. And um, shout out to Luke and Carolina Trump. One day they'll tell this story about me too, I'm sure. Um, but I told my mom one day, I came home from school and I'm like, listen, all the kids at school are doing their own breakfast. So I'm gonna just start doing my own breakfast. So don't need you to like make me the eggs and stuff anymore. Like I'm all set. So she was like, all right, well, you're gonna have to wake up early and go downstairs. That very next morning, I woke up early, I went downstairs, I opened the pantry door, and I'm not even joking, it's a water bug. People who live at the beach understand this. Gi like a giant cockroach, like this big water bug, flew at me, hit me straight in the forehead. I ran upstairs and I said, I'm sorry to my mom. I never am gonna attempt to make breakfast for myself ever again. And that was the end of it. There's the beginning and the end, very quick. So yeah, th that's my irrational fear. 
Eric Trump uh, doesn't really seem to have any. Uh, but I'm going to check it out. I got to really think on this one. And if I come up with any, I will report back to you. Okay. All right. We're going to get back to those questions in one minute. But if you know anything about me, you know that I take my health very seriously. In fact, with each year that passes, the goal of staying in my healthiest and best shape takes on more and more importance in my life. Feeling good is something that I don't take for granted. And it has become an essential goal for me every single day. That's why I always remember to take Balance of Nature supplements. Balance of Nature receives over a thousand success stories every single month. They have hundreds of thousands of customers who've purchased billions of capsules of their fruits and veggies over the past 20 years. Their products are gluten-free and non-GMO, and they contain no added sugars or synthetics. If you're looking for something to make you feel better naturally, give Balance of Nature a try. In fact, you can order today. And whether you order online or call them directly, you can use promo code LARA, that's L-A-R-A, to get a special offer of 35% off. Call them at 800-246-8751 and use discount code LARA or order online at balanceofnature.com. Make sure you use that discount code LARA to get 35% off. If getting more serious about your health is something you've been wanting to commit to, I highly recommend that you check out Balance of Nature. Mike Lindell and my pillow employees want to thank my listeners for all of your continued support. To thank you, they're having an overstock clearance sale right now for the best prices ever when you use promo code TRUMP and you get free shipping on your entire order. Take advantage of this sale and get 50% off the MyPillow 2.0 or the brand new flannel sheets that just arrived and won't last long. You can also get a six pack towel set for only $29.98. Take advantage of the free shipping on larger items like mattresses and mattress toppers. All of this 100% made in the USA and on sale for as low as $99.99. Everything is on sale from the brand new kitchen towels that have the same technology as the bath towels that actually absorb dog beds, blankets, couch pillows, and so much more. To get the best specials ever, go to MyPillow.com and use promo code TRUMP or call 800-624-3945 and get free shipping on your entire order while supplies last. All right, here we go. Final question. When a cake is made with frosting, sliced into pieces, and then frozen for future use, does it dry out the cake after they are defrosted? Wow. So it seems like we're tapping into my culinary expertise. For those who don't know, OK Magazine, listen up. For those who don't know, I went to culinary school. It's the reason I moved to New York in 2007. Yeah quite a while ago. Um, and I am technically a pastry chef for a degree I have from the French Culinary Institute. Had a cake company for a while called Lara Lee Confections. You can probably still look it up out there. I made some really cool cakes back in the day. It, it's not advisable to freeze something like a cake and then defrost it. Now it can be done successfully. I would use maybe the defrost function on your microwave. Um, but the thing is, once you freeze something and then you bring it up to room temperature, it kind of like sweats. It's going to get kind of mushy. The consistency is probably not going to be there. Not advisable. Also not advisable. This is something a lot of people like to do. Chocolate in the refrigerator or the freezer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is. It completely denatures the chocolate. It's, it's one of those things I feel like they taught me in culinary school and I never really liked chocolate in the fridge or the freezer because I don't like it crunchy. It needs to be room temperature. So then you put it in your mouth, it melts, the whole thing. Uh, so I get really upset when I see this happen and I know a lot of people do it. I don't like the, uh, what are the chocolate bars? The vanilla ice cream with the chocolate shell on it. Maybe it's like a Klondike bar or something. Not into that, no. It's not for me. So yeah, the cake thing, I would say it's going to be tough. Um, I don't know if it would dry it out. Nece I think it depends how long you leave it in the freezer. I mean, like, let's be honest here. And, you know, I put a lot of stuff in the freezer because I'm sure everybody does this with their kids. My kids are like, oh, I'm going to save this for later. They'll eat like half of a something. I'm going to save it for later. And then it ends up in the freezer. And then like 
nine months later, I'm like, oh my God, this thing is still in the freezer. I got to do a full clean out because no bueno after, after a certain amount of time, freezer burn, uh, it's no good. So I might just say, start from scratch, get, get you just a nice Duncan Hines cake and you can make your own frosting, but sometimes that frosting in the container, it's pretty good. So, okay. That's coming from a pastry chef and that's going to do it for us. Here at Lara Trump, wanted for questioning. Love these. I'm going to really check into the Eric Trump question about irrational fears. I can't think of any off the top of my head, which is very frustrating because I actually do have some irrational fears. So uh, if he had a fear of dogs, he's really got a big problem because I just keep bringing them into our house and there's probably no end in sight to that. Send us your questions. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and follow. You can post under this episode. You can go to any of our social media to send us your questions, and we will do our best here to answer them. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here next time for more of Lara Trump Wanted for Questioning. Nothing is worse than being on a phone call that drops. Nothing is worse than trying to text someone and you can't reach them because your phone is out of service range. And nothing is worse than supporting these major corporations and companies who don't support us. That is why I love Patriot Mobile. They are America's only Christian conservative wireless network. They use every cell tower out there available to all networks so that they have the greatest 4G and 5G coverage nationwide, and they support the causes that are important to us as conservatives. If you go today to patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump and use the promo code Trump, you will get free activation today. Again, that is patriotmobile.com slash Laura Trump. The promo code is Trump for free activation so that you can get a great cell plan and feel good about doing it.